Hi, welcome to Hustle Bangkok. I'm Stuart Petman, and today I'm going to show you the difference between breaking uh, eight ball, nine ball, and ten ball. So first of all, I'll show you how it's racked. Joy, one of our service girls, she will, she will rack the balls, and we here you can see we're using a, a magic rack, which is for to get the balls tightly condensed together. This is actually a, a magic rack for eight ball, nine ball, and ten ball. So you can see how the balls are going in here, and you can see how tightly packed they are. It's very important that they don't leave a gap, because if you have a gap, then the balls don't travel, and they don't, they, they don't do what they're supposed to do. So if you can see, Joy will just make sure they're all tightly racked, and they're all in perfect order. So this is how I break on an, on an eight ball game. I like to put the put the, the white ball maybe an inch to the side. I like to play from the cushion. Feels more power for me, but a lot of players like to break from the line. But my own preference, I like to play, play from the rail. Okay, here goes. You can see I hit the break great. I made two balls in the side pocket, which is what you're aiming for at least. And the balls are nicely spread and should be a clearance. That's how you do it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to break the, with the discipline of nine ball. There's actually two different breaks for nine ball. This is going to be the first discipline that's played in tournaments a lot. And Joy, our service girl, will show you how they're, how they're racked. You can see the one, balls, uh, the one balls placed on the spot here which is a pretty standard tournament, tournament rack. This is a turtle sheet from Japan, and they're very, very good. And we'll always place the two ball at the back. So we always have the, the one ball in the spot, the nine ball in the center, and the two at the back. And Joy's just making sure that we've got them all tightly packed. So with this break, as I'll show you now, okay, so this is the first the first way to break the nine balls is a pretty standard rack for normal tournament play. All you want to do is just hit the one ball smack on the nose right there. And if this eight ball should go in there, you want the one ball to come track this way towards this pocket. Let's see. As you can see, that's exactly what I wanted to do. The eight balls pocketed in the corner pocket, the one ball's come off the side towards this, towards this position and I've got an easy run out, should be, the, should be enough to win the rack from there. Okay, so following on from the last break, now we have a different position that the rack will start. The rack is pushed up further, this is also played in uh, many tournaments nowadays and Joy will now rack the balls with the one ball pushed up further and the nine ball will go on this spot. Makes it a completely different break and I'll show you, when Joy racks the balls, how different it can be. Once again, she'll make sure that the, the balls are tightly racked, which is the most important thing when you're breaking a, any nine, eight, nine, or 10 ball. So they look pretty good to me. And I'll see if I can make a ball here. The break is completely different to the last one, whereas before your hitting the one ball smack on the nose, but this one, because it's pushed up slightly further, you actually need to make a little cut break. A cut break means to hit the one ball just slightly on the left-hand side with left spin, so that the white ball just hits this cushion here, comes out into the center of the table. These two balls track towards this pocket. One ball, same again, off here, towards here. Let's see what happens. Okay, that's pretty perfect. I've potted the ball in the corner, which I wanted to. I've made the, the cut break, hit the cushion here with a bit of side to come out in the center. Got a shot on the one and that should be game over. We're gonna move on and try the 10 ball break. So I'm gonna ask Joy to rack the, the balls in a 10 ball fashion. We're using the same turtle rack sheet that we use for the nine ball. Remember we did the nine ball break. We use it for the normal nine ball and the cut break. 
and the turtle rack sheet is uh, also adaptable for a 10 ball break. So obviously we've got 10 balls now. One ball on the spot, 10 ball in the center and the two and three on the outside, which is pretty standard for any break. So let's see how we do. What I'm looking for here in this break is for one of these two balls here to go in the center pocket with the white ball to pop it back, hopefully with a bit of spin to stop it in the middle. Let's see what happens. Okay, that's pretty good. I've made the ball in the side pocket, which is what you're aiming for. The one ball's tracked towards the corner pocket. Maybe I was a li little bit lucky not to scratch, but I got enough air time so that it didn't. And the white ball's finished great. So, again, should be game over. 